<laughs> Planetarium. Select so language, we want English. English, welcome everybody. This is Home Planetarium, Homestar VR. 2017, Pocket Ohiri Tech, Sega Toys. Yeah. Shall we start? We'll give it a few minutes, get some people in here, and then we'll start in a minute. So this is, looks like the Milky Way galaxy. I saw, I saw a shooting star. We're here also with Harmony. Say hi, Harmony. What's up? What's up? Harmony always says, what's up? What's up? Harv's got to get the last water, please. Right quick. Saying thank you to. Thank you for opening up the <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready. Is anybody in the chat? Any porty at all in the chat? The chat. <sighs> nope. Oh, we'll start anyway. That's better. Starry sky selection. I was gonna turn it down a little bit. Uh, yeah. Excuse me. Time travel settings. Let's do this one. Yeah. Ooh, we're in a theater, Herms. All right, classic planetarium mode or full celestial planetarium mode. Let's do this one. Let's check out this one. In this VR celestial tour, I will show you the spring constellations. I like looking up at the sky and wondering when the cold weather will be at an end. Whoa. Like the warmth of spring. Gaming Cube, the how you doing? Sparkle gently. Let's, Let's take a walk out in the starry sky. This is the first constellation I want to talk to you about. This is Virgo in a form of oh. a beautiful woman. Virgo. She is said to be a form of Demeter, the goddess of agriculture. Not too bad. Not when too bad. When you see Demeter, it is said. That, that it is time to harvest. Yeah, it's crops. been a while. But it's good to see you. Can't see her, you should not be harvesting. Harm, turn down a little. When Demeter hides behind the Earth's surface, then it is winter. What number is it at? When spring comes, Let's go there. Virgo will appear and bestow upon us rich blessings. Let's look a good. little more north. Here you can see Ursa Major. Actually, Ursa Major is a nymph called Callisto, who was turned into a great bear as punishment for breaking an oath. Callisto hates living alone as a bear, but one day she meets her son Arcus while she is in her bear form. Arcus doesn't realize that the bear is his own mother and tries to kill her. Zeus witnesses this and brings Callisto as a bear and Arcus up into the heavens. Arcus is now the constellation of Eurotides, and he has reunited with his mother. They may be a bear and a human, but this mother and child seem very happy to be next to each other in the sky. However, the tale of Ursa is best known as the Big Dipper. It is shaped like a ladle. The bright star on the point of the expansion be of this constellation me. is also famous. This is Polaris, or the North Star, 
and it is the most northerly star. Sailors in olden days would navigate by using this star. The constellation with the North Star is Ursa Minor. In the myth of Callisto I told you before, there is another version where Arcus becomes a bear and was raised up to heaven as Ursa Minor. I wonder which is really Arcus? Bootes or Ursa Minor? It's fun to imagine it, right? There is a big curve connecting the tail of oh Ursa Major to Arcturus of Bootes and Speaker in Virgo. This is the Spring Triangle. When you connect it with the myths, it's really spectacular. Libra is next to Virgo. As well as the goddess of agriculture, Virgo is actually also the goddess of justice. Astraea holds a scale when she is passing judgment, which is what Libra shows. It is said that she determines who goes to heaven or hell after death. It's a little bit scary to think that a simple scale will decide if you spend eternity in heaven or hell. This is Leo. This constellation is in the shape of a lion. This lion caused a lot of people trouble and was eventually killed by Hercules. After many days of battle, Hercules ended up fighting the lion with his bare hands and finally defeated it by choking the lion. It was made a constellation to commemorate its strength and now stands proud in the sky with his great mane. Hercules stars are in many legends of old. Other victims of his heroism are Hydra and Cancer. Hercules battled the sea serpent called Hydra. A crab, which was a close friend of Hydra, jumped out to try and save his friend. However, the crab was easily crushed to death by Hercules. Both the Hydra and crab once defeated by Hercules, were raised up into the heavens to become Hydra and Cancer. Hercules' strength must have been very impressive if he could defeat both of these monsters. With that, I will have to bring this spring VR Celestial Tour to a close. What is the weather like today? Sunny or cloudy? If you can, look up at the stars and see if you can see the stories they tell. See you soon. All right, so that was the spring, spring one. And it's all like the star selection has been unlocked. Sweet. All right. Okay. All right. So we hit summer. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. What is classic planetarium mode? Let's, let's see what that's like. We can go back out of this if we have to. In this VR oh, this is tour, I will show you the spring constellations. So this that one just shows the seats and stuff. So we go full celestial, it takes out the seats of the theater. So let's do summer. In this VR celestial tour, I will show you the summer constellations. Hot summer days with a cool breeze at night. On these refreshing evenings, it's great to look up at the stars. Let's take a walk out in the starry sky. Let's first visit the Summer Triangle. Do you know where it is? No. That's right. There it is. This is the Summer Triangle. It is a big triangle which includes the three stars, Cygnus's Deneb, Lyra's Vega, and Aquila's Altair. Let's start our summer tour with this great triangle of the Milky Way. 
First up is Cygnus. The myths tell us that this is Zeus transformed into a white swan. He transformed himself into a swan so that he could seduce a beautiful woman, whispering words of love to her. Deneb is the brightest star in the constellation, and perhaps it represents a gem he gave to the woman. Lyra is the harp of Orpheus, the most accomplished musician. He wanted to use his music to return his dead wife to this world, and he had to meet Hades, the king of the underworld. But his wish did not come true, and Orpheus died of sorrow. The lyre lost his master and was rescued by Zeus, who placed it in the heavens as a constellation. Vega is the brightest star in the constellation of Lyra, but don't you think it shines very sadly? Aquila is the form of Zeus as he flies through the sky as a great eagle. Zeus flies above the ground in this form to watch over the world. The myth says that it was in this eagle form that Zeus brought Ganymede, the young boy of the constellation of Aquarius, to the land of the gods. Altair is the brightest star on the head of the eagle, which may be the sharp eagle's eye. Who's this strange person? Zeus yes, how you could doing? be watching us. There is also a famous story told in summer in Japan. Tanabata is also known as the Star Festival. The legend goes that only once a year the weaving princess and the cowherder can cross a river and be reunited. good. In this tale, the weaving princess is Vega of the Lyra constellation. Her is here. Is Altair of the Aquila Jesse, that's where you are. They exist on either side of the Milky Way. Huh? It is said that on Tanabata, or the 7th of July, they can cross the Milky Way. Don't you think it's a romantic and beautiful story? Let me tell you more about the small constellation next to Aquila. This is Delphinus. Oh, this is it's sneaky fox. Is this is, um, Don't arcade. Don't you think it's cute? This dolphin rescued a famous musician How you doing, who fell into the sea. And to commemorate its achievement, the dolphin was turned into a constellation. This is the constellation of Hercules. Hercules is the hero not bad, of not bad. mythology. There's Hercules. Hercules defeated a violent lion and huge monsters, overcoming great difficulties and becoming the subject of many legends. Among the spring constellations, there are a number which were killed by Hercules. As Hercules rises from the east, they disappear in the west. Sagittarius is a half-human and half-horse centaur, famous for being an archer. Sanskrit. The centaur was an excellent teacher, and Hercules was one of his archer the centaur lost his life to a poisoned arrow, but he was brought up to the sky and became Sagittarius. Now, everyone remembers him when we look up into the sky. Scorpio is next to Sagittarius. I think many people will recall this constellation when asked about oh. star constellations. Awesome. This That's Scorpio cool, man. This is the one that stung Orion with its venomous My dad tail. used to watch that show. Even now, Orion is afraid of the Scorpion, and when Scorpio rises, Orion will escape to the west. Antares is the brightest star in Scorpio. Antares is a very big star. Its diameter is said to be 720 times that of the sun. Do you bring chat rooms? It is 65,000 times brighter. Ouch. It feels kind of scary that there is something so big up there. Don't you think? The summer constellation tour ends here. All what right. did you think? Did you have a favorite constellation? 
Next time you have a chance, look up at the sky and think of the legends. See you soon. All right, so that was the summer one. Let's hit, uh, what's the next one? Fall. She's afraid to talk to me weekly. No, she's just trying to not talk too much while this is going on, I think. Harms, are you there? Yeah. Okay. Type in the chat and talk to this Sneaky Celestial Fox. Tour, I will show you the it's, autumn constellations. It's arcade. The days are cooling, and the nights are filled with the songs of insects. Just talk to him. He wants to talk to you. Best seasons to relax with a good yeah, Hercules is a good constellation. Food. Don't you agree? The On the chat. The chat, yes. The chat, yes. Stories to entertain you with. Let's take a walk. I just say hi. Let's it's start with the hey, great Cheryl. square. Where do you think it is? That's right. Here. This is the great square. It is actually a part of the Pegasus constellation. Pegasus is a mythical winged horse that gallops across the sky. This is where we'll start learning about the four constellations. Pegasus was the beloved horse of Perseus, and they enjoyed many adventures Our together. Sneaky Fox's arcade. We have to agree that flying upside down in the sky with carefree abandon is really spectacular. Awesome. Next hey, Mark, how you doing? Pegasus is Aquarius. Aquarius is the constellation of the young man called Ganymede holding a large jar and pouring water from it. This beautiful young man caught the eye of Zeus, who brought him to the world of the gods to serve as a cupbearer. His parents missed Ganymede very much once he was gone to the land of the gods, so Zeus made him into a constellation so they could see him in the sky from the earth. I guess that the boy was just too beautiful for Zeus to let go. Ganymede became an official cupbearer. It's not actually water he is pouring from his jug, but alcohol. Ganymede is pouring this alcohol on the constellation of Piscus Astrinus. The bright star of its mouth is known as Fomalhaut. Fomalhaut means the fish's mouth. I guess it I don't must know. be drinking all that alcohol intended for the gods. Fomalhaut is the brightest star of the four constellations. It's easy to find because it's so bright. Give it a go. Can you see it? Now, there is a large V-shaped constellation. Which constellation do you think this is? It's Pisces. Why do you think it is in the shape of two fish joined by a ribbon? The two fish are in fact the beautiful goddess Venus and her young child, Cupid. It is said that the two were attacked by a monster and changed into fish to escape. They tied themselves together with ribbon so they wouldn't be separated. Zeus was moved by this touching story of a mother and child and commemorated the two of them in the constellation of Pisces. And at that time, Pan was also there. And here now, uh, let's introduce Ares, drop their controller. who is relaxing as he watches the panicked Capricorn. Here he is. Ares was a flying golden ram that was sent by Zeus. The ram rescued a young prince and his twin sister from a murder plot and got them to safety. Later, the ram returned and was made into a constellation. The golden fleece of the lamb was kept as a treasure. Maybe it still exists somewhere in this world. There is another famous constellation near Ares. Do you know which it is? 
Yes, it's Andromeda. It might be easier to work out which direction the Andromeda galaxy is. The Andromeda galaxy is located here. Can you see it? According to the myths, Andromeda was a beautiful and graceful woman. The story about Andromeda takes place under an autumn night sky. Andromeda's father was King Cepheus. This is his constellation. Her mother was Cassiopeia. This W shape is the famous Cassiopeia constellation. One day, she said something very prideful. She said that none of the sea nymphs could compare in beauty to her Andromeda. The sea god Poseidon heard this and was enraged. He sent a giant sea monster to drown their kingdom in a giant flood. The king knew that in order to quell the rage of Poseidon, he had to sacrifice Andromeda to the sea monster. King Cepheus had no choice if he wanted to keep his kingdom safe, so he tied his sobbing Andromeda to a rock on the coast. Poor Andromeda was left trembling alone as the great waves threatened to consume her. Then the sea monster appeared. It looked for sure that Andromeda would die. However, just then, the brave Perseus appeared on his fantastical horse Pegasus. Perseus was on his way home from defeating the witch Medusa when he saw the sea monster coming for Andromeda. It was perfect timing. He used the severed head of Medusa to launch an attack on the sea monster. The sea monster was turned to stone by the power of Medusa's severed head. Perseus defeated the sea monster and rescued Andromeda. He brought her back to her father, King Cepheus, and asked for her hand in marriage. Andromeda and Perseus were married and lived happily ever after. This story of a princess being saved by a hero and living happily ever after ends our fall tour. How was it? Why don't you take a break one of these nights and look up at the stars? See you soon. Alrighty. That was fall. So every time we do one of these, it unlocks another uh, selection from different... It's basically the sky view from different locations. Like that one was Mount Fuji. So we're going to do winter now. I'm just doing these ones, these four. Winter is our last one now. And then later on in another stream, we will go and do the others. In this VR Celestial Tour, I will show you the winter constellations. The cold air of winter is crisp and clean. And the stars look particularly beautiful, don't you think? One of the features of the winter sky is the great number of bright stars. Let's take a walk out in the starry sky. First off is Orion. Doing great. Orion is a legendary hunter from Greek mythology. This constellation is famous for the three stars that make up his belt. Can you find Orion? That's right! The stars that spread out in all four directions is Orion. Legend says that Orion was a great hunter. Even now, he's in the middle of hunting rabbits. It is said that Canis Major is Orion's hunting dog. I bet he was a very brave and happy hound. Orion was a very brave hunter, but he seems to have been a little violent. The gods created a scorpion to kill Orion. 
Orion tried to stamp on the scorpion, but the scorpion stung Orion and he died. Even as constellations, when Scorpio appears in the sky, Orion will hide behind the Earth's surface to escape him. I guess he learned his lesson. Another hunting dog appears in the winter sky. Here it is, Canis Minor. This little dog is the hound of the famous hunter Acteon, and one day he went out with his master and the other dogs on a hunt. However, Acteon unfortunately enraged a goddess who turned him into a deer who was then chased by his own dogs. The hounds killed Acteon. Only one of the dogs waited for Acteon, and this hound was eventually lifted up into the heavens as a constellation. The star of Orion's right shoulder, Betelgeuse with Sirius of Canis Major and Procyon of Canis Minor. Connecting these three stars forms the famous Winter Triangle. This beautiful triangle can be seen in the winter sky. It should be pretty easy to spot. Taurus is slightly above Orion. Taurus has large horns, and on its shoulders is the famous Pleiades star cluster.